ever wondered how attackers can take over your online sessions, gaining access to your private information? This is not a plot from a spy movie, but an actual real-world threat known as session hijacking. It's a form of cyber attack that's as intriguing as it is dangerous. Session hijacking involves an unauthorized party intercepting the communication between two systems, the client, which is you, and the server, which could be any online service you're using. It's like a stealthy eavesdropper listening to your private conversations, only in this case, the conversation is the data exchange happening over the internet. This cyber villain doesn't just listen in, it can also manipulate the conversation, altering data, or even take over the session completely. Imagine someone else controlling your online banking session. Scary, right? This is a complex form of cyber attack, known as session hijacking. Now, how does session hijacking work, you may ask? Well, let's delve into the mechanics. At its core, session hijacking is a form of eavesdropping. It involves intercepting network traffic, much like picking up a phone extension to listen in on a call. But it's not enough just to listen. The hijacker also needs to manipulate the session tokens involved. Picture it as stealing someone's identity badge at a convention, then pretending to be them. This interception and manipulation can be achieved in a variety of ways. One of the common methods is sidejacking. This is when a hijacker sniffs out unencrypted data from a user's session. It's like overhearing a conversation in a crowded room. You don't need to be part of the conversation. You just need to be close enough to listen. Another method is IP spoofing. Here, the hijacker disguises their IP address to appear as a trusted entity. Think of it as a wolf in sheep's clothing. The wolf, or the hijacker in our case, tricks the network into believing it's a trusted device, allowing it to access sensitive information. Then we have cross-site scripting, often abbreviated as XSS. This involves injecting malicious scripts into trusted websites. Imagine a con artist convincing you to give them your wallet for a magic trick. Only the magic trick is the con, and you've just handed over your valuables. Similarly, XS tricks the user's browser into executing the script, which then steals the session token. But let's not forget, these are just some of the ways session hijacking can occur. Hijackers are continually refining their methods and inventing new ones. It's a bit like an arms race with each side trying to outwit the other. Understanding these methods is the first step in defending against session hijacking. By knowing how the wolf operates, you can better protect your sheep, or in our case, your data. So, let's get ready to dive deeper into the world of session hijacking. So, what happens when an online session is hijacked? This is a question that keeps many cybersecurity enthusiasts up at night. The impacts can be both wide-ranging and deeply personal. Let's delve into some of the potential ramifications. One of the most immediate impacts of session hijacking is unauthorized access to sensitive information. When a cyber criminal takes control of an online session, they essentially step into the user's shoes. They gain the ability to access, view, and potentially even modify the user's personal data. This could include email conversations, social media interactions, or even bank account details, depending on the platform that's been compromised. This unauthorized access can quickly escalate into something even more damaging, identity theft. Once the cyber criminal has enough personal information, they can impersonate the victim, opening up a world of fraudulent possibilities. They could apply for credit cards, make purchases, or even commit crimes under the victim's name. The repercussions for the victim can be devastating, both financially and emotionally. But it's not just individuals who need to worry. Businesses can also fall prey to session hijacking. If a cybercriminal hijacks an employee's online session, they might gain access to confidential company data. This could lead to industrial espionage, sabotage, or even a full-blown data breach. For businesses, the fallout from such an attack could result in financial loss, damaged reputation, and loss of customer trust. It's also worth noting that the impacts of session hijacking aren't always immediate. Sometimes the cybercriminal will lay low, gathering information 
and biding their time before making a move. This makes the attack even more sinister as the victim might not realize they've been compromised until it's too late. The consequences of session hijacking can be severe, affecting both personal security and corporate integrity. It's a sobering reminder of the importance of robust cybersecurity measures and a stark warning of the potential dangers lurking in the online world. In the face of such risks, what are the main points to remember about session hijacking? Let's take a moment to revisit the key points we've discussed. Session hijacking, at its core, is an attack where an intruder takes control of a user's session to exploit their network connection. It's like a puppeteer pulling the strings, controlling the puppet without it even knowing. Understanding how session hijacking works is critical. It's a three-stage process, interception, deciphering, and finally, overtaking. The attacker first intercepts the session between the user and the server. Then they decipher the session ID, which is the unique identifier that helps the server recognize individual users. Once they have this ID, they can essentially become the user, overtaking their session and getting access to all the information and privileges that the user has. The potential impact of session hijacking is vast and concerning. A successful hijacking can lead to serious breaches of privacy and security. Personal data can be stolen, financial transactions can be tampered with, and sensitive corporate information can be leaked. It's not just an individual problem. Businesses, governments and organizations can all be targets, and the repercussions can be far-reaching. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding the threat is the first step towards combating it. There are several defensive measures available. Encryption and secure socket layers can protect data in transit, making it harder for an attacker to intercept and decipher session IDs. Regularly changing session IDs can also throw attackers off the trail. And let's not forget about educating users about safe browsing habits, like logging out of sessions when they are done, which can drastically reduce the risk of session hijacking in a world where we're increasingly reliant on digital connections, understanding threats like session hijacking is more important than ever. It's not just about the technical details. It's about understanding the potential harm and knowing how to protect ourselves and our networks. Armed with this knowledge, you're now better prepared to understand and guard against the threat of session hijacking.